Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create this six pin dragon scale cuff bracelet. But the colors I'm going to be using today are this tan color and this brown color. I'm only using two colors today, but you could use as many colors as you want. And you should, you should only use about 200 bands. If it's too big, go like 150 or something. And the loom setup is going to be this only one set of, one row of loom, wait, pegs, one row of pegs, and the small connector and this big connector. And also you're going to need a hook. I'm just using this, um, the rainbow, the old one, but you could find a new one maybe at Michael's or wherever you get rainbow loom stuff. So let's get started. So the first step is you're going to take get your border color. Mine is brown. What I mean by border is the out the outside of the thing, which mine was black here, but this time is going to be brown. And what you do is just get the band and twist it and place it on pegs one and two. Do the same thing with your second border color. Twist it and put it on pegs two, three, and four. Once more, twist and place it on five and six. So this is what, and push it down to make room for more rubber bands. So this is what your thing is supposed to look like, your loom is supposed to look like. Now, the next step is you're going to take your inner color, minus tan, and twist it and place it in between the browns, which, which the pegs are two and three. Do it once more, twist it, and put it on four and five. Push everything down, make it more nice and neat. The next step is take your hook and get the bottom cup, the, the brown, and take it up. If your thing is not twisted, which happens to all, a lot of us, is you just take the thing off, take the rubber band off, and put a little twist on it. So just twist it and place it back. The twist is supposed to look like that. The next thing is, well, push it down. Now, get your brown. Take up and over. Up and over. There's still a little twist right here. And do it just on the edge like this. This is always going to have a twist. Because all the times I made this dragon scale bracelet, it always had the twist on this, on on this band. So don't worry about this. Play, push everything down nice and neat, and this is what your loom is supposed to look like. Now, the next step is to get three of your colors again, three of your um, border colors again, and place it down and place it down, not twisted, on where you put last put your border cup, your border colors. Do it once, do it twice more, and this is what your thing is supposed and this is what your loom is supposed to look like. Now, the next step is you get the bottom band up over. Whoops. And do it again. Up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, and up, over. Play, push everything now nice and neat. Don't forget that. Now get your your inner your inner colors again. Place them where you last put your inner colors. Right there, untwisted. And twist those and um, loop those. 
So, what I mean is this, this one, this one, and this one. Nice and neat, don't forget. And this is what your loom is supposed to look like. I'm going to show you once more how you do this. Get three of your border colors. Place them where you last put your border color. Your border band is, were, was. Then you take this bottom band up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over. This, and push it down nice and neat, don't forget. And this is what it's supposed to look like. I'll show you just one, wait, and then the inner one, and then do it once more for the inner. Place them where you last put your inners and loop the where loop under the inners. So up over up over up over up over. Push it down and I'm going to just just repeat the process until you have it long enough to fit your hand and you should just and what I mean by long enough is you use all 200 of your bands so so I'm just going to cut the video until I have it long enough to fit my hand this is what it's supposed to look like whenever you're in the middle of the bracelet working and whenever I said hand I meant to say wrist so it so, I'm just going to edit the video once more it, until I'm done. So, I'll see you guys then. So, the, for the ending, what you're supposed to do is see all of these, just get the brown border band and put it to the inner band, like that. Now, do that on the same side, on the other side, and like that. It doesn't matter if they're a little loose. They're all, okay, now the sec, and now in the middle, it doesn't matter which side you do it. So I'm just going to bring this band to this band. And this is what my thing looks like. Wait, my loom. So now, I get one of my clips, and what I do is I take this rubber band off and just put the clip through. So this is what it should look like right now. Now, I'm going to just go through, pick it up, and then boom. Now, for now, I'm going to get another clip. Do the same thing. I take the one that I took off and just clip it through like that. Do the same thing with the other one. Just clip it through. I might. This one might take a little longer. I'm sorry about that though. There we go. Now I'm supposed to do one more. Get one more clip. And just clip them through. It doesn't matter how you clip them. How you clip it. It just matters if you just... You have to have the, both bands on the clip. Otherwise, it will fall apart. And clip that through. And now this is what it's supposed to look like. <coughs> They're fully off the bracelet. Now, what you what you're going to do is you're going to find 
a brown rubber band. It doesn't matter which one, but it has to be on the edge. And you bring this one closes like this straight and just clip it through like so like that do that with the other two find the rubber brown rubber band and just clip it through do that once more find the last rubber band the last brown rubber band and clip it through <coughs> now you should stretch it out a little bit to make it more cozy on your wrist and you could put it on it shouldn't feel very very tight depending what kind what um how big your wrist is because mine feels pretty loose so stretch it out a little bit more and put it on your wrist um i only use 105 rubber bands because that's just my the length that actually fit me so if yours is like two if your arm is really bulky you should use 200 but if it's tiny, it's a little more tiny, but not as tiny as about that. You should use about 125. So, so thanks for watching. Bye.